Does it help? Interesting. Does it help that you are an actor when you're I think directing it, other actors? I helped. I think it helped in this movie. Sidney Lumet saw the movie and he really he was quite taken with it. And he asked me what kind of drugs did I give everyone <laughs> to get them to be so uh, relaxed and uninhibited. I, I worked with people uh, in rehearsals. I made them do exercises. I improvised with them, and I did everything that I think that I would like to, to, to have done for me. Because there's a lot of spontaneity in, in the performances. Uh, w- yeah. Were they also ad-libbing at times? Did you uh, encourage improvisation? We did a little bit in rehearsal, and then I would incorporate that. But basically the script was pretty much the way it, it, it is, except for one of the, the, the second half of Kate Winslet's sex scenes. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll talk about that off the air, but uh, I, I just thought we'd give a, people a little taste of how it sounds, not the singing. Here's James Gandolfini and Elaine Stritch, along with Steve Buscemi in a scene. I got one foot on the banana peel and one foot in the grave. Can you do this to me? You have got dinosaur balls, Buster. I should have clopped them off when you were a kid. I'm your son, Ma. I could use some help. Does it look like I'm wearing a white uniform? I'm supposed to be number one. You overshot your boundaries, number one. You go and get yourself a mistress, and on top of that, you got yourself circumcised. Jesus, we're not even Jewish. I told him not to do it. Shut up! Who asked you? That's just, uh, we're laughing here, and you've seen this film a billion times. John Turturro, thank you so much. The film uh, opens tomorrow at the Film Forum on West Houston Street, and let's go out with a bit more of Engelbert Humperdinck. Uh, the film, uh, which we are talking about, is Romance and Cigarettes and has an all-star cast and fabulous actor-director. Thanks again, John. Thanks for having me. See ya.